Welcome back. Um, our artist of the week today is a high life singer, a guitarist, a songwriter, a musicologist, music instructor, performer, and a trainer. Phew. Hmm. But I'm glad to say for the first time, here is somebody who actually studied music. It's my pleasure to welcome Shola King to the hmm. studio. Welcome, Shola. Thank welcome you, to Sunrise. Thank this you. is the first time we're having a musician who actually studied music. Yes, I was actually a master's degree in music education. Uh -huh. He's a musicologist. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I heard that term, musicologist. What, what, what is a musicologist? Mean? Someone that studies music. <laughs> 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 That's different from a roadside musician, you know. Like uh, some people, most of us will tell you that we inherited it somehow. It's inborn. But it's just like that with me as well. For so many years, not until when I found my purpose. And it's like, I've been, by the time I studied music, finally, I now found out that, oh boy, it's like you've been merry-go-rising on the same spot. So I was able to find true purpose in music as in true direction. But there are many musicians who didn't study music and yet are very good. The, at one time, they have to go through somebody that has studied it, that is like mm. grounded in it. Mm. They have a lot of experience, but it's really different from those of us that, you know, well groomed in it, with a lot of research. There's so many things to music. Like did, what did Two Face study music? Maybe we have to ask him. Uh -huh. But if something about study music is not just about your voice. It's not about the voice. It's not. It's not just the voice. The, I mean, the way they, the way, they, the way they sing, the way they put the things together. Mm. When if they hear a note, they can tell you, ah, that's the wrong note. And that's what we are talking about. Like if we bring me to your church, your organization, I can teach you. I can train you how to sing, and you look like a musician. So in music, we have different offices. You can be a music instructor. I may not know how to play an instrument like a coach. A okay. coach will teach you how to play football like a professional. Probably you might not be able to even kick a football. So a musicologist is a trainer, a groomer, somebody that foresees the market of music, somebody that knows so much about music. Like what I used to tell people, music is like a pack of sand. You can see it from different parts, from different angles. So you can dip your hand from one angle and still make your exploit. Okay. Why did you study music? Hmm. Were you singing before you went to study music? I wasn't singing. I was an, an instrumentalist. I was playing guitar at ah. age nine. By that age nine, I was learning how to play guitar. I was playing piano, the keyboard. So that was what I was doing originally. Yeah. Um, was it just out of love for those instruments? Or what made you learn yeah. to play yeah. them? Finally, before I took that decision, I at a point I studied engineering, mechanical engineering. I have OND, I have first degree engineering. Mm. So it's a very big decision. Mm. It's a mighty one. So, <laughs> so we're back there. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine that's the question I've been asked all over, everywhere I've been to right now because okay. I'm privileged. So now. It's like I had to sit down on a particular day to realize, to really trace back to what I've been doing while I was young. So when you were asking that question, I noticed, I remember when I was very young, like in the, can I say 75, 76, 78, I remember those things I was doing when they were playing this music on TV then. You are, I know you guys will understand. Sha na na, sha na na na, sha na 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 na. Yeah, you can remember. So each time they are playing that, it's a cartoon song. Yeah. You know? So whenever they are playing that thing, I usually go get a wooden structure that looks like guitar. And I'll stay by the TV and I start jumping on it. So seriously, I was able to remember something reminded me. You know, when you want to find your purpose, when you were groomed, as in looking, locating your creator in the days of your youth, when you are able to trace your youth, I mean your purpose, mm -hmm. something will speak to you and that will be this Holy Spirit. I will tell you, this is what you should do. So I was able to trace all of that. Okay. And so um, after studying engineering, yeah. you have OND, you have HND. 
in no, engineering. I didn't do HND. I went straight, straight to, my to your degree, degree in engineering. You now decided that you wanted to sing and do your to... masters in music. music. Now I am. I'm doing my PhD. I'm on on can I say on uh, um, in view. HOD, I mean PhD, PhD music. in view. Music. That I'm doing it in America. Okay. Um, how did your parents feel when you told them you were going to just throw away engineering and go that into was, music? That was war. When I was going to... I my, can imagine. That, yeah, my HOD in engineering was like, oh boy, sorry to say, use this you, language. And you... I said, excuse me, <laughs> this is what I think I want to do. And then it was really... That's HOD. What about your mother? My mother, you know, my mother knew, but your mother will know you. But she was like, the finally, I mean, finally, when I was going to make that decision, she was like, oh boy, if we are taking this decision a long time ago, I said, I looked at my mom, I said, wow, so my mom can say this. Even my pastor fought me and like, wow. What about the old man? My, the old man is late, like okay. over 20 years oh, ago. Okay. Yes. All right. Your, your mom supported you? She's, she's really supportive. She's, I bless God for her life. She paid your school fees to read engineering? Mm, I did. <laughs> God did for me. You know, it's okay. all of those uh, experiences that we went through. You, you, it's um, you, you train youth. Yes, yeah, yeah, from yes. age three, children come and see them today. What God has done. For why, them. why did you decide that you, you, you rather teach the young ones to play music? Okay, that's where we are talk we are going to now. I'm sorry if I'm gonna be a bit Christianly or Just you know, religious in this aspect because I'm a person that found out that, you know, this is where God is leading me to. This is what God is calling me to do. By the time I was teaching in British International School, because I'm highly favored in this this area, today I can I'm really thankful to God that what the engineering students, my mates have achieved I am, I've achieved the same thing, thank God. Because all this while, I was like, I was in BIS, and then when I, when I, each time I'm coming home, there's these people I train, you know, on the island. These are the things we will do, you know, PP, things like that. So, and I was teaching, and that's what I do. I'll come to you, I'll tell you, I'll teach you in two weeks, and you will know how to play the instrument. That's what I do. If you can't play in two weeks, I'll give back your money. So, that's what we've been doing. One day, and I played the guitar to the, to the glory of God very well. So, I was, and each time I do this, I'm always unique. One parent just called me in the church, and she wrote a little note. Please, Bershola, you help me train my child. And I was like, okay. So from BIS, I go through Admiralty Way, and I train the child. So the, at the time, I was going to change from the school, and I was moving on. So I told the woman, I'm not going to teach you again. Even before then, I was up hoping that they would have to pay me, but the husband said, you are not going to pay me. And I looked at the matter like this, I said, oh God, why would you not pay me? This is what I do for a living. But something spoke to me, go ahead. And I went ahead. That child, so when I came from the school, and then I wasn't going there anymore, I have moved on to another place, and I told the mother, okay, don't worry, let the child come with the instrument to the church every Sunday. So after the service, I will take the child to the third story building funny as in a wonderful way children i mean some people started coming towards that place and that was how we grew 80 children 82 to play diverse instruments i can play all instruments now guitar harp violin talk of instrument each time i travel out of the country this is part of what i do because i believe that when you invest into children they will be formed and okay they will know what they are I, I think our, our producers are about uh, playing your music in the background. Okay. Um, you, besides the training, that's one of your videos. Yeah, that's what I do. What inspired this video? I'm not talking about the song. The video. What inspired the video? Oh, beautiful. I'm so grateful to God. This video is about all my experience. I think mean, those things I've gone through. And at the end of the day, I can say that, God, you are beautiful. God, I thank you. This is a total appreciation. Appreciating God, I'm saying. Is that your PJ in the background? My private jet? Oh, praise God. <laughs> I'm going to own a job as soon. <laughs> <laughs> that private jet you're seeing there is a miracle. As in everything that's been happening to me in this industry, 
wow, I'm so grateful to God. I've shot videos all over in different states of, out of the country. You know, and I'm so grateful to what God is doing in this industry. When you say it's a miracle, you didn't pay for the videos, you didn't pay for that private jet. When you say miracle, I say miracle. Uh, when you want to testify, you finish the testimony. <laughs> well, you, have an, you have an album <laughs> yeah, that's called yeah. Testimony. Testimony happened to be my first album. Um, I launched it in America 2011. That was the first album produced by Waleoni. It was a bomb, you know. Uh, exploded. It exploded me, <laughs> and I thank God for that. It happened, and when I came back to Nigeria, it was I was everywhere, all around. And since then, I've been moving in and out of the country. We're um, almost out of time, so maybe you should just tell us what would you say to young aspiring musicians, and indeed those in the music industry, both Christian, those doing gospel, and those doing secular. What would you say to them about the power? Of music and what they are doing the power of music is very very fine big you know it's a, it depends on how you see it like she was asking some question but what I will always tell everyone is just remain focused remain focused try and know the God that you serve this this is very paramount being focused is like something to me now because even at the peak Wherever you are going, some distractions come around, but I always tell people to remain focused. Because there's no one that cannot get to the top with the help of God. If you're selling pure water, you can make it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let me just say that you're going to sing us out when we have closed the program. Nice one. So you start thinking of which song you're going to play. <laughs> okay? Um, so, what is the next step for you in closing? Yeah, um, people should expect a lot. Um, NGO about children, artists, I mean, I'm talking about fostering the children as in keeping them well-mannered, well-cultured. Because music is something that, you know, enriches a child, trains a child, brings a child in a normal form. Because what we are going through these days, if they are listening to, if, you know, if you groom up a child in a, in a particular, I mean, style, like, uh, music that is encouraging, they will know what to do, you know. So I'm like, we should, they are, expect, they are going to expect more of uh, uh, programs like children coming up to be trained, to, you know, reaching out to children, adults, something that will, will, will sanitize and make our society to behave well. A, a, yes. A better place. A, a better society. Okay. Um... High life singer, guitarist, songwriter, musicologist, music instructor, performer, and a trainer, Shola King. Thank you very much for Thank coming on you. Sunrise. So that's us for today. We'll bring you a fresh package, Piping Hot, next Saturday. My name is Alero Edu. And I'm Neil Taigwe. Thank you for all of you that sent in comments and tweets and all. We do appreciate them. We hand you over to Shola King and sings us out. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Jehovah Mio. Ah, I thank you. Imara Machi Niki. Oyoma. Jehovah Mio. Hey, I thank you. Imara Machi Niki.